still a hustle. But I'm gonna change. I don't have to. I hope it's morning by the time I post this video. Today is the official day one of my challenge. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to flush your body properly. I did a poll on my Instagram and I asked you guys which one did you want me to talk about first. Either intermittent fasting or flushing your body. And the majority of you guys chose flushing your body. So I'm going to talk about intermittent fasting another day on this journey. But the reason why I decided to do this video is because I feel like it's a very important tip that a lot of people leave out. And I'm just going to be completely real and honest with you guys because I want you guys to be successful on your weight loss journey. And these tips are helping me, so make sure you like this video, comment for your girl, subscribe since if you haven't already. I mean, if you haven't, what is you doing? But let's get into the video. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to be completely real and honest with you guys. So if you're not using the bathroom, and by using the bathroom, I mean like, you know, doing number two, having a bowel movement every day, at least once a day. There's something wrong with your body and i say this from personal experience because honestly before i started this weight loss journey i was going probably three times a week top sometimes i probably even went even longer than that especially when i was in college because i did not like using those community bathrooms so it was like it just was a horrible situation on top of not wanting to use the bathrooms also having like digestive issues i've always had digestive issues i don't know why but um when you don't use the bathroom regularly all of that is like stocked up inside of you inside your intestines and stuff like that and that could cause bloating it could cause weight gain and you're just holding unnecessary weight that you could literally like poop out so these are some things that has helped me like get all of that out of my system and like flush my body out so i'm just going to share them with you guys and hopefully you guys take these tips and run with them and use them share them with other people because they could really help you out in the long run okay so tip number one which is always going to be tip number one is to drink plenty of water i feel like water is the essential need for almost everything if you want to cleanse out your body you have to drink water you just can't drink juice and soda all the time our bodies are made up of plenty of water so you actually need that water to like refresh your body refresh your cells and make sure that everything is working properly speed up your metabolism reproduce new cells and just for everything you just need water water is like an essential if you don't drink enough water you could be dehydrated you could be drowsy you could be tired sluggish all the time so you just need water and most importantly it flushes out your body tip number two is teas and um you don't have to do detox teas but of course they work like they have the flat tummy tea and stuff like that if you want to spend all your money on some detox tea that's you me what i've been doing i've been drinking green tea and ginger tea when you're drinking tea to lose weight, you don't want to add like sugar or anything like that because that kind of like defeats the purpose because you're taking in like so much sugar and that could lead to weight gain as well and bloating as well. But when you drink tea, probably with some lemon or some natural honey or something like that, it actually boosts your metabolism and takes away from bloating and stuff like that. It could help you in weight loss. Okay, so tip number three is to eat greens, any green vegetable like um, kale, broccoli, spinach collard greens i feel like all of those vegetables all help you like go to the bathroom and i want to make a video on this too but when i first started losing weight i made a lot of green smoothies with spinach and fruit and stuff like that and i'll add like protein powder and i feel like having a vegetable at the base of every meal would really help cleanse your body out and make sure um your body's getting all the nutrients and fiber and protein that it needs to maintain itself and to keep your metabolism going so you can lose the weight but like I said, I was making green smoothies. I was eating spinach with almost every meal. Sometimes I ate raw spinach. Sometimes I boiled it. Sometimes I made it in a soup. So you could really vary out like what you do with your vegetables, how you eat them, and what meals you make with them. I'm going to be doing a video on what I ate to lose weight soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And my last tip is to use a natural seed from the earth. Me, I've been using hemp seeds, and I'm going to tell you guys how I do this. I'll probably put, like, a video right here to show you guys how I do this. But me, I use hemp seeds, and it's, like, it's really a powder. Hemp is packed with a whole bunch of healthy fats that your body needs to, like, maintain itself, maintain homeostasis, and just flush your body out. I noticed a huge difference after I started using hemp that I go to the bathroom every day. I actually saw a video on um hemp, and this lady said that if you eat four tablespoons a day for a whole month you could lose like around 40 pounds and i did notice a difference after i started taking hemp that i did start dropping the weight more quickly 
but I did not use four tablespoons a day because I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say that it tastes good literally it tastes like dirt it's like similar to the marijuana plant the only difference is it doesn't make you high or anything like that but it literally tastes like dirt so when I eat it I put it in yogurt and I add some protein powder with that I mix it all up and I just eat it like that sometimes I will put it in a green smoothie but that's only when I put fruit in my smoothie because honestly, y'all, it literally tastes like dirt. But if you don't want to use hemp seeds or if you can't access them, you could use flax seeds, you could use chia seeds. There's so many other seeds out there that you could use to put in like yogurt and smoothies and stuff like that that could really flush your body out and help you like cleanse your body, go to the bathroom, and drop the weight. So those are all the tips I have for you guys to flush out your body. Just a recap, um, drink water, green smoothies are really good too. Um ginger tea green tea eating greens and vegetables and eating healthy seeds like flax seeds hemp seeds chia seeds and all that also um i didn't mention this but prune juice everybody know prunes help you use the bathroom if you feel like you need to go that route then you do that i used to do that when i was little my parents used to make me they have like the little candy prunes those don't taste that bad but like prune juice and like just regular prunes i just i can't that's nasty but that's all the tips i have for you guys next i'm going to be talking about intermittent fasting and um I also want to do a video on what changes I've been noticing after I started drinking a gallon of water a day. I saw that video trending a little bit, so I want to do a video on that too. If you guys have any other video suggestions, let me know in the comment section. Make sure you let me know if you're joining my journey or not. You could DM me on Instagram or you could just comment below. I've been getting messages already and I'm so proud of you guys for coming along with me on this journey. And I'm just so happy that it's reaching the people that it's reaching. Taking control of your life and your health is very important, I feel like. And for you to like take that step and move forward is really a big thing, a really big accomplishment. Not a lot of people could do that. Not a lot of people have the strength or the willpower to do that. And um, like I said before, make this journey a positive one, make it a happy one. I'm really happy and excited to be on this challenge with you guys. So make sure you like this video, comment, whatever you wanna comment, or anything like that, and subscribe to this. If you haven't subscribed already, what is you doing? But I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. New day, new money to be made. New things for them to imitate.